Give us some context then on this Credit Suisse story. Let's linger a little bit on, on the backstory here. So, so yes, I mean, and if, if we re drill down into the press release a little bit, that the, what, what Credit Suisse is saying today is that the, the people who, who were initially quizzed on the Khan matter didn't respond truthfully when asked about the wider context of, 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 of spying uh, and surveillance of the bank. So they're saying that they, when Credit Suisse said, Earlier this year, that uh, that the 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 Khan spy matter was an isolated incident, that it was not part of the toolbox of the, the Credit Suisse, that they were making those statements in, in good faith, and that, uh, that the, the the subsequent allegations now, of the, which they've admitted to, of the uh, the HR chief, uh, were new to them, that they learned this through the media. Now, you have to ask yourself, how does that look? It doesn't look great. And yes, you can say if someone withheld the truth or lied to us, well, we can't, we can't do anything much about that. But you'd have hoped that their, that their probe would have gone a bit deeper, that when they say that this is not the kind of corporate culture that the board promotes, that, well, the corporate culture involved looking as far as you can go and really and getting to the bottom of it. Because, frankly, as an observer, I don't think this really puts it to bed. I don't think it, it, it answers the question completely and, and shows that they really did all these steps. And you know what? They, they also point to the fact that the FINMA, the Swiss regulator, is looking into this more and more intently. It's great. Swiss is saying it's, it's going to cooperate with FINMA. But I think they have a lot of uncomfortable questions for them.